The following service work shows the detailed work procedures for flashing and coding or updating an LED headlamps control unit software. It also shows headlamp specific coding of the LED code using the Mercedes Benz W212 as an example. Please note that the individual work steps for mounting, dismounting, and correctly adjusting an LED headlamp were explained in the video replacing LED headlamps, which can also be found in the Helitech world. Here, new components are fitted to the LED headlamp at a separate workstation. Always ensure that ESD protection measures are observed when carrying out assembly work on LED headlamps and electronic components. Please note that each housing shows the hardware and software version of the control units when delivered. Great care must be taken when mounting the control units. Make sure that the seals, plug connectors and plug locks are correctly seated. Before the new headlamp is installed, it is important to take a digital image of the headlamp's LED code label. This data, which is specific to the headlamp, is required for coding later on. In this example, the MAX remote diagnostic device is connected to the vehicle's OBD interface, to prepare the flash process via MAX remote service. A wired online connection must also be available on the MAX remote device to ensure a stable data exchange during the flashing process. In addition, a suitable charger should be connected to support the vehicle electrical system. The MAX remote service from Heller Gutman is used to code the LED code and to update the control unit software. In the application, the relevant vehicle and the required service are selected and a ticket is ordered. A Heligutman technician coordinates the ordered service remotely. The joint chat is used to share necessary vehicle settings in real time during the flashing process, for example switching on the ignition or adjusting the light switch setting. After starting the diagnostic application, the coding of the control units and relevant parameters are queried for diagnostic purposes. A short test is performed on the relevant control units, and any error memories are deleted. The identified software segments are then recoded and checked. This data is exchanged, using the existing online connection, so it is important that this is not interrupted during the process. The chat function was used, to save the image of the LED code specific to the headlamp. This can now be printed out and scanned, by the remote technician. This LED code is then entered into the vehicle system to ensure that the headlamp system is integrated and functions correctly. After successful coding, the system performs a reference run for the headlamp module. In this example, the flashing or coding process was completed successfully. The workshop technician can now readjust the LED headlamps and complete the final steps. Also watch the video replacing LED headlamps, in the Helitech world.